Okay, this is the final part in the the basic full flash website structure tutorial. And uh we were inside of the button menu movie clip and we have our four buttons here and the code for all the four buttons is right here and I'll explain that in a second. First thing we want to do is we got to change the name on these things. So we double click inside of that one. And let's change the text layer to say home. Double click outside to return. Double click inside button two. And we'll call this one about us. Or about me. And then double click outside. And double click into button three. Oops, went too far. Change that text to contact, oh no, videos. And do the same for button four. This one we're going to rename contact me. Okay, so contact me, so home, about me, videos, and contact me. Perfect. Okay, let's see, we got a loud click sound in there. I'm going to take the click sound away from me, it's way too loud. You can put any kind of sound you want on your buttons. And inside the button, you'll see when you download my animated button tutorial with the click sound, you'll see how I laid sound in there and where I put it. But I'm going to take it out because it's too loud. I had my sound set way too loud for that. Okay, so now we have our correct names. Now let's look at the action script. So, button one function uh, for over, out, and click are all right here. And then here are the three listeners for button one over, roll over, roll out, and click. So this fires off when they click it, this fires off when they roll out, and this fires off when they roll over the button. It's that simple. And you'll see here when they click in that function, we jump out of this clip, this uh, main menu movie clip, and we go into the uh, we use parent code to jump out of the movie clip in code and jump into and control the all pages movie clip so we're essentially doing this we're jumping out and then here's the all pages movie clip instance name all pages and we're jumping in so we're jumping out of that movie clip with code and going into this and instructing it to play these frame labels it's that simple so if I publish out right now there it is, and the home page faded in. I click about, so you see, about, videos, and contact. And like I said, anything at all can be inside of those movie clips. Anything at all. Let's close that, and now let's go back to the code inside of the button movie clip. And you'll see that uh, it says movie clip parent dot all pages dot go to and play home so it plays it goes and plays the home label inside of our pages movie clip this one is all exactly the same except it controls button two and their listeners are here just like button one and it goes and it, it instructs the all pages movie clip to play the about uh, frame label and this one the videos frame label this one is the contact frame label. It's very simple. And here are so button function over, out, and click for number four. And it's set, it's structured the same way uh, button one is, but it just controls button four instead of button one. Um, and I think that's about it. That should get you on your way. And let's see. So here we have the button movie clip. Here's all pages. Here's logo. Up here you put an mp3 player, a digital clock, uh, whatever you want to put up in there. And then uh, you can have a footer that stays static as pages change or whatever you want to do. And uh, let's see, is there anything else I need to mention? Yep. Like I said, you can put any kind of transitions you want. And here I just did a simple alpha fade from 0 to 100% for each page but there's tons of transitions you can do in Flash. 
and there's tons of applications you can get at developphp.com that are ready made in Flash, uh, free FLA files that you can pop in and use on your websites. There's drop down menus, scroll bars, video players, MP3 players, yada yada yada. Everything and more. Okay, so that is pretty much it. And if you guys can't, uh, once you get your hands on this file, you download this file that I just created, you'll see the structure, you'll understand uh, maybe a little bit better how to how to keep your your file and your page structure and your menu system a little more organized within your flash files okay we'll see you guys in the next lesson that concludes it